Hello, hello, Processio community. This is Mihai here, and for today I have prepared a feast for you. I will show you how to use Processio to create a conversational chatbot using ChatGPT and connect it, connect it to any documentation, knowledge base, or data source. But before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever we upload new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you like it and share it. This is very important for us. Now, let's dive in. For this particular use case, we have used a chat interface that we've put on top of Procession. For that, we've used View 3 Beautiful Chat. Check it out, it's very powerful and easy to use. And then, for documentation, we have used our own documentation, which is docs.processio.com which we are using Archbee for that documentation. So we've connected to Archbee to extract the knowledge that ChatGPT is going to use in order to answer questions. And we have used a NSQL database in order to store the information and cache everything so that we don't need to um, do back and forth every time for every question that has already been answered. Cool. So how do you do that? The first step is to ask the question in the chat. Then the next thing that we're going to do is deconstruct that question using ChatGPT into keywords. The third step is to search the keywords on the documentation and cache everything in the database. Everything, when I say everything, I mean the association between the keyword and the articles that have been found in the documentation. Next is to read every article that has been found and cache the article content. The next step is to calculate using ChatGPT for each of the keyword the relevance to the article and get the score out of that. And after that, uh, you need to reply to the question, the, to the original question, using ChatGPT and giving it only the most relevant articles that have been found in the documentation. Then give back the answer to the user using um, the chat interface. Now let's dive in to see how we actually done that. For this, uh, in the documentation, we will provide all the files that you need to do what I'm doing right now. So what you need to do is go to your workspace and import the file. So this is drag and drop, overwrite, import all, and wait for the process to finish. It's going to finish quite fast. And there are several things that you need to do before uh, everything works. So you will first of all notice you have uh, several processes, uh, you have a data model, and you have several credentials. Now, the thing that you need to do is go to the credentials and change the credentials in accordance to what you have, right? So first of all, you need to have an SQL Server database and you need to configure this credential for your particular database. We will give you in the article attached all the scripts that you need to run in order to create everything that you need to have on the database. The next thing that you need to change is to change the ChatGPT credentials so that it works, it connects to uh, your actual ChatGPT um, instance, okay? So replace this right here and it should work. Then you need to do two more things in order for everything to work. The first thing is to go at this process called ChatGPT, which is basically a process that We've built just as an interface to ChatGPT. It cleans in the input that you get. You also have the history of the chat that it also gets cleaned a little bit. And the thing that you need to change is here. In the headers of this call API action that actually is the action that connects to ChatGPT, you need to change the value of the open AI organization. Both the bearer of the ChatGPT and this uh, uh, organization parameter that you need to put in the header, you will find in the ChatGPT open AI interface in your own account. 
Now, the last thing that you need to do uh, in order for this to work out, especially if you are using ArchB as well, you need to go to uh, this process, ArchB get articles by search term, go to this action, search ArchB, and make sure that you have this information changed. Okay, so this is the thing that you need to do, Docspace ID, you need to make sure that this value is the value that you have. Uh, so in order to do that, go to the documentation. This works, remember, this works only if, if you have ArchB as a knowledge base. If you don't have ArchB as a knowledge base, you can replace this process with any other process that connects to whatever data source knowledge base or whatever you, you have to store your information into. Now let's go back to how do we find if this value is correct, sorry, this here, docspace ID. It's quite easy. If you use ArchB, just go to documentation, click inspect, as I just did here, then go to search. And here, make sure you are on the network. And when you search, you will see those types of things and you will find the docspace ID. Just make sure you copy this and paste it in here. That's it. So those are the four things that you need to do in order to make this process work. That you, those are the things that you need to change in the processes. Now, I'm not going to spend time in um, changing those at the moment. I have a workspace where everything is set up and it works nicely. So I'm going to move to that workspace and show you how easy it is to use. Now, as I mentioned, you have the chat interface where you can write questions. This is the chat interface that you can test. This will be soon present within the Processio app. So you will be able to use this right away from the application, ask questions which are relevant to you and get the answer based on the documentation that we have and um, with the information that you need. Keep in mind, as you know, ChatGPT is not 100% reliable. So keep that in mind when you use it. We are going to continuously work on improving this uh, chatbot. So let's try this. I have prepared a question for uh, the chatbot. And I'm going to paste it in order to not waste time in writing it. So I'm going to read it. Can I use Processio to collect Google form submissions from users, use the data to generate documents based on templates and send the generated document back to the user or somewhere else? Give me some documentation links. Let's see what happens. At the moment, I'm sending um, this, uh, this uh, uh, question. The process zero search is going to start running and you already see the instance. Now let's see what happens within this instance. Okay, so this is the step where it gets the keywords based on the question. Each, for each of the keyword is going to search the documentation. And let's see what's happening. And for each of the articles that has been found for each of the keywords is going to either get it from the cache or download it from uh, the documentation, the actual doc documentation, and then store it, right? As you already know, you can click on each actions to see which is the actual value that has been uh, used within that action. Now let's see if the process has finished. It's almost done. This is the last part of the process. It's actually uh, sending the relevant articles to ChatGPT with the question and it's waiting for the answer. And you can debug it like really easily. Cool. So let's see what happens and if it finished. It probably did. Let's go back to the chat interface. This is the answer. It's quite straightforward. You also get um, the, document, the links to the actual documentation from Processio. Here we go. This is how you use Processio to connect 
to the documentation, give the relevant articles to ChatGPT, get an answer from ChatGPT based on the relevant information, and then compose a question, give it back to the user, and everything adds nicely into a conversational chatbot that you can use for your products to service your users, or you can extend this chatbot to connect to other systems that you have within your company and get relevant information from those systems to the users. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel because this is going to make the world for us. Thank you and looking forward to your feedback.